What's up guys, Cyber Power PC here, Gamer Extreme with another, um, finally got the item I've been wanting to get, which is this little guy. This can control up to four different fans, you can control the fan speed. So I have some fans hooked up, well they're not hooked up right now, but they're already in place. This will give me the ability to keep the fans on all on low speed while I'm not gaming and then turn them all on high speed when I am gaming. So currently I'm thinking about running the box right in here. I'm going to cut out this panel and through here. I'm not sure how well the box is going to fit. It looks like it's just about the same um, size. But the idea is to put it in there. Slide it in, push it in, then I can control all the fans just like that. So we'll see how it goes. Then I can actually finally close up the side of my PC. Since look at all these cords everywhere. Alright, so as I thought, ran into a problem, it's still not quite wide enough. So I'm gonna try and bend each little prong there out and see if we can get it to fit in. Check this out, guys. Oh, I got it to fit perfectly in there. And we got room up top here if we ever need to run any cords up top. We got room on the bottom if we need to run cords down there. So I'm going to be cleaning all this up, running the USBs different spots. Now we just got to turn the computer around, hook it up to over here, get the cords all hooked up slowly get this thing put together so there's no wires running all over the place all right we got my trusty light there sticking on there so anyway um, we have it now fan speed is actually pretty slow um, all of them are turned down back here so you might do this if, you get, if you're using the same uh, product I have it in the description you might hook everything up and then it's not working well I want to go over a couple things that could be the issue for one all you need to do is plug your power cord into the box just the cord like this and that will control everything everything's running at all slow speeds uh, these, I think these are, yeah, these are all normal speed because the these fans are actually hooked up separately. I didn't hook them up. This is just for my aftermarket fans. So, anyway, um, connect all your fans like I've done here. They don't have to be connected to any power source. Okay, that's what this is for. You got your power source from the computer, the black plug plugged into the clear plug which goes to this box you don't want to put plug it in this one you want to plug it in the main one not the one where the cords coming from it you want the main one and if you need any more help let me know and then you just plug your fans into the port doesn't matter if you have a three port and this only has two pins so Let's show you guys. I'm going to turn one up. First, which one is it? I forget which fan this is. <laughs> so, this one's for. Okay, guys. Hey, scratch what I said. Don't don't have all these uh, power connected to each other. Each separate fan. All you need to do is plug in the smaller plug to you know the other pins that goes to this. You don't need to have these plugged into each other because if you have them all plugged into each other, um, one of these controllers is going to control all all your fans. So if you want each fan separate, I mean, you could. Actually, in fact, that's not a bad idea. Actually, hmm. That actually might be what I want to do, because I want to be able to control all the fans at once. 
at the same time. So I'm thinking maybe I'm going to do that. But right now have it, I have it set up. Each individual fan is for each knob. So I'm going to demonstrate it for you guys. So let's find which fan. Okay. So this knob is for this fan. As you can see the light dimming. So we're going to turn it on. Maximum speed. Dim it off. Next fan. Just to show you guys. And the last fan. All right, and then of course I still have one empty, which I tested it out and it wasn't working, this one. But good thing I only have three extra fans. So, all right, um, but I think I'm gonna hook up, well then it's almost pointless having all these three switches though. Hmm, maybe I will connect all the fans to this. Now I kind of like keeping all these at the same speed. Alright guys, so hold on, I'm going to now connect everything. Um, I'm going to do this, just like this. Alright guys, so if you want all your fans hooked up to just one of the switches, like so, I'll show you. So now I can control the fan speed with just one knob. Um, what you do is you connect this bad boy, your power to the pin of this thing, and then you simply connect your fan port your single one that's connected to see how it's connected here to your power you're gonna wanna find the one um, oh really any should work so let's pop this out here for a moment so you see how it's off now let's see if any work so let me put this on another pin. Yeah. So any any uh, single pin's gonna work, and don't have any other pins hooked up. Don't have any other slots in. Um, and then depending on the switch. So yeah, the same switch is gonna work because you have the same switch on here. So it doesn't matter which one you go on, which one you choose from any of your fans just make sure only one is plugged in don't have any of the others plugged in and then your control over control all the fans that you want it to if you wanted to control every single fan in your computer just hook up all your power your fan power plugs <laughs> I got stuck in there all your power plugs into the same thing and then you can control every fan that's out here with one knob um, or you know you can simply, if you want to control your these fans separate, these three plus that one separate, you just plug one of these in to, uh, you can't see, but down in here, one of the, th one of these guys, but, So, doing this is a good way to save power if you don't want all the fans running full speed all the time. Which I don't. I would rather them run on the low speed right here. So, as you can see, low speed. Kicked up full speed. So, alright, so we got the switch on now to tuck cords away and put stuff back to how the computer should look like. By the way, I took off the front panel here. I know it doesn't look as nice, but I got grill 
meshes here so helps prevent dust from coming in a bunch of products will be in the video description guys alright since we got it hooked up now it's time to tuck things away and zip ties are your best friends for these projects alright guys so I actually have a GPU coming so I'm gonna keep everything off and uh, external CD DVD drive that I'm gonna be installing too so I'm gonna keep the cover and everything off um, so right now my setup is really horrible you see all these wires everywhere all these USB uh, external hard drives well the issue is I have so much data um, from photos to videos with YouTube and editing I have I have thousands of videos and also over 15,000 photos that I've taken throughout over the years. So, yeah, um, all these drives, they're all on top there. Plus, the one TB drive is almost maxed out. Then I got a SSD drive that's almost maxed out. That's 240 gigabytes. All these drives are anywhere from 500 gigabytes to 750, and they're all maxed out. So I'm getting a 6 TB drive uh, that should take care of most of my issues. It's an external drive on sale. So I'll be able to get rid of all these external hard drives up here, get rid of a lot of wires, and clean this system area up big time so stay tuned for that video depends on the size of the 6TB I might try and install it inside the cyber power PC <gasps> what really yes I might try and do it we shall see take care guys